Welcome to this promotional clip from our full-length video production entitled Gassers Galore. The full-length feature runs 2 hours and 28 minutes and spotlights the gassers of the golden era of drag racing. Well, let's begin with a look at an old dirt surface ghost track somewhere in America. Now these early gassers were hopped up versions of the streetcars that were used for daily transportation in post-World War II America. Hot riders, as they became known, began to modify their streetcars with more powerful engines and stronger driveline components. In the 1950s and 60s, drag racing was held at the Madera City Airport in Madera, California, and they had gassers galore. The Madera Clutchers Car Club held monthly drag races at the airport, and the first NHRA California State Championship drags were held at Madera in 1954. And oh yes, they had some pretty California girls at Madera. One of the first purpose-built drag strips on the East Coast was New Jersey's Island Dragway. Back in the early days, you could find gassers galore at Island. Now one thing our gasser drivers had to remember was the need to get on the brakes real fast when you hit the finish line at Island because it had a short shutdown area with a hazardous set of railroad tracks on the top end. And as we can see here, this Willie's gasser could not get stopped in time. This is Vinnie Tarantola out of Brooklyn, New York with his Willie's gasser. Now, Vinny was the founder of Vitar Engineering, and his transmissions and torque converters were used in many gassers throughout the country. Now, the second car we take a look at is the Malico Brothers 40 Willys out of Gardenia, California. Now, check out the single axle open trailer used by the brothers that crisscross the country. Now, the Malico Brothers, Gary and Jerry, use a small block 327 Chevy blown and injected and a four-speed hydro stick by b and On this day at Island Dragway, we find a great looking 1958 Chevrolet gasser called Stone Crusher. Now this car is owned and raced by the Rotunda Brothers out of New Jersey. Out on the track, these guys were really tough to beat. Maryland's a Quasco drive strip had gassers galore back in the 1960s, and we begin with Charlie Ford's 37 Chevy, aptly called the Marylander. One of the biggest races of the year at Aquasco is the President's Gold Cup, and there were always gassers galore at the event. That's Bob Bernard and Jolly Dolly racing the Grump. The team of Arhu, Mulaney, and Hempsey run this A-Gas Falcon. Our full-length video contains some classic footage of the SNS racing team out of Falls Church, Virginia. Now this is Gene Altizer's injected Anglia, and check out the sounds. There were also gassers galore at the famous ACTCO dragway in the southern part of New Jersey. Check them out. And here comes Gene Morey and his Chevrolet powered Volkswagen. And here we see Fred Bear cranking up his Willie. Now let's follow Ed Stagana as he gets ready to make a pass in his 1940 Studebaker Gasser at Vargo Dragway in Percocy, Pennsylvania. Now keep in mind that you are watching a promotional clip from our full-length video entitled Gasser's Galore. In 
In our full length video, you will get the whole story on what went wrong with Ed's classic gasser. Well, as it turned out, Ed's day of racing was over due to catastrophic engine failure. On the outside is Tony Peasy in the Carl Volpe modified production Corvette, and that's Skip Bechtel in the Snake Charmer on the inside. And now we head across the country to Pomona, California. Wow, check out this Aldred wheelbase 57 Ford called Gunfighter. Gary Coe from Portland, Oregon pulls the gears in his four-speed small block Ford Altered. There's Johnny Loper out of Phoenix, Arizona with his 51 Anglia called Little Haas II. Herb Moeller takes off in Jack Dipmore's little screamer 34 Ford and will get the win over Johnny Loper's Anglia. North Texas had Green Valley Raceway, and Green Valley Raceway had Gasser's Galore. How about this caravan of Gasser's K.S. Pittman, followed by Stone, Woods, and Cook. And how about Big John Masmanian? Now let's head north to Detroit Dragway, where in 1959, the Ram Chargers ran this 1949 Plymouth Business Coupe in the C. Aldred class. They used a 354 cubic inch Hemi with 392 heads and two four barrels, and it was called High and Mighty. The gates open at nine, the show starts at two, Sunday afternoon at Raceway Park, English Town, New Jersey. Well, we have Gasser's Galore pulling into English Town Raceway Park. Check them out. Maple Grove Dragaway opened in 1962, and gassers were there from the beginning. In the pit area, you could usually find a variety of gassers, alterts, and street roadsters. You could even find a beer barrel on occasion. And there's the Heffron and Kaiser gasser. That's uh, Bob Kaiser, turned out to be a world champion and competition eliminator during his career. Waiting in the staging lanes is the Chev wagon of the Mori brothers. They have Butch and Gene Mori use an injected Chevrolet engine for go power in their Volkswagen gasser. We close out our Mabel Grove coverage with this very unique Mustang. This is Jim Costello's turbinate powered Mustang called the Turbo Stand. And this very rare footage is a gas. By the mid-1960s, Southeastern had a new timing tower, and it was hosting much more powerful race cars, such as the Hemi Hurricane A-Gas Willys of Bunky Bobo. They also had gassers galore at New York National Speedway on Long Island, New York. Another Long Island dragway was West Hampton, and the stands were always packed with spectators who loved to watch the gassers put on a show. In our full-length video, you will see over 1,000 gassers at 40 different drag strips. And here is Coney Island Ralph Wendolfi and his Willie's gasser. Let's make a quick stop at Phoenix Dragway in Phoenix City, Alabama and see some of the Southern gassers in action. I'll tell you, I love this Ford and it's called Boss Man. There were always 
is plenty of gassers at Maryland's Cecil County Dragway, and we begin with Ross Gilbert's B Modified Production Chevy. Well, the SNS race team showed up at Cecil County with a couple cars. That's Fred Bear. Check this out big John Masmanian, candy apple red Willie's gasser. Bristol Dragway is home of the NHRA Spring Nationals, and with that association, we find gassers galore at Bristol. Here's Earl Britt of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with his 54 Corvette called the Pizza Man. It was the quickest six-cylinder Corvette in the world. Here comes Dean Lowry with the EMPI Inch Pincher Volkswagen Bug. The hopped-up VW runs in the H gas class and is the most famous Volkswagen race car of all time. The Quarter Aces Dragaway of Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania opened in 1962, and by the mid-1960s, you could find a bunch of gassers at the track. That's Merv Moyer's half-free B-Gas 56 Chevy. Man, you gotta love this 59 angle. National Trail Raceway is located just outside Columbus, Ohio, and on this day we found a nice group of gassers. York US 30 Dragway in York, Pennsylvania always had a great group of gassers at their combination airport drag strip facility. The following footage is from the 1965 NHRA Division I record meet held at York, and that's Harry Wazader with his Seagas 32 Ford five window coupe. New Yorkers Frank and John Kelly run this little red Anglia. At the intersection of routes 75 and 80 in Monrovia, Maryland, you find the 7580 dragway and gassers galore. This street roadster is powered by a 389 Pontiac engine with six Stromberg 97 carburetors. Now check out the trick Volkswagen front suspension. Let's take a ride down the Mason Dixon quarter mile with Bummy and his 31 Chevy Roadster. Our next stop will be at the old Pensacola Dragway in Pensacola, Florida. And you guessed it, they had a bunch of gassers there. J.C. Sizemore's altered wheelbase 55 Chevy called Golden Rod. Big deal and J.C. go at it one more time. And the Golden Rod takes round four. That's J.C. Sizemore and his altered wheelbase 55 Chevrolet. This next segment contains short clips from various drag strips around the country and we call it Gasser Bits. Now we move over to the Panhandle area of Florida for some action on runway number four at the United States Air Force Eglin Air Force Base located near Fort Walton Beach, Florida. This Anglia is racing at the old Miami Dragway which was located in Pembroke Pines, Florida. And one of the regulars at the track was Jerry Gwen and his baby Huey Altered Roadster. Ever since 1961, when NHRA moved the location of their national drag races to Indianapolis, the area has put out the red carpet to drag racers from all over the country, as well as those from Canada and other foreign competitors. In the early years, tech inspection for the nearly 1,000 competitors was held in the parking lot of a shopping center on 16th Street in Indianapolis. Joining the circus-like atmosphere of the tech area is the Hearst Shifter Company's Pontiac Parade Vehicle. Here we see one of the NHRA tech officials looking over the Big Ass Willies that belongs to Fred Bear of the SNS Racing Team. Now, let's take a look around the pit area and see some of the gassers coming out 
to the big go. Well, here comes Ohio George Montgomery with his 1969 double A gas supercharged Mustang. There is quite a story behind this car and the effect that it had on the world of drag racing. In our full length two hour and 28 minute video, we have an exclusive interview with Ohio George and he tells us all about the Mustang. Well, I hope you enjoyed this promotional clip from our full length video entitled Gasser's Galore. Visit us at beyondvideo.com and get your personal copy today.